welcome to today's class in the previous class we have uh, seen uh, the module 3 which is related to the concepts such as backup archive and uh, replication uh, we have come across the terms of information availability we have seen what are the causes for information unavailability we have seen the consequences of the downtime we have seen how we are going to measure the information availability and we have seen the terminologies related to <clears throat> the business continuity uh, where it is re related to disaster recovery, disaster restart, recovery point objective, uh, recovery time objective, data vault, hot site, cold site and ser uh, server clustering also and uh, we have uh, come across the business continuity uh, life cycle where we have seen uh, the life cycle which goes through the various phases such as establishing the objectives uh, analyzing the objectives designing and developing uh, the new uh, strategies implementing those strategies and we are training testing and assessing and also maintaining these strategies so that the business continues always now we'll look into the next concept is a failure analysis in this failure analysis we are trying to analyze both the physical and the virtual infrastructures um, which where we are going to identify them because of which there there might be a chance that the system can fail now when i'm been identifying so i need to check that what are the uh, the main sources for a failure it can be both either the physical or the virtual so in this one they have been categorized into three uh, failure analysis the first one is the single point failure the second one is how do we resolve this a uh, single point failure and the third one is multi path uh, softwareing single point failure uh, as he states that it refers to the failure of a component of a system that can terminate the availability of the entire system or the IT service. That means one component failure is going to break down the overall operation of the infrastructure. Now for example is that if in case I say here is uh, storage array I am having a storage array if in case this is uh, going to break down so nothing happens I can replace uh, with some another uh, component all right in case uh, the switch is going to fail so still the operation continues where uh, the client is going to get the data from the server all right now if in case uh, the client is not been working if in case the client fails all right but still the switches win is been working the server will be working the storage array is been working though the information is not been exchanged but in case if i have to say that if the server itself fails right if the server itself fails then there is a no point or i can say that there is no more exchange of the data from the client to the server right if this server fails then there is no more what you say the operation being carried out so we need to make sure that what is a single point of a failure so that the system or the operation is not going to affect the other clients so for that purpose they have come across this resolving the single point of failure how do we, they do this one in this one is they are trying to bring out the redundancy so that <clears throat> if any one system is going to fail then uh, well, th there there may be some alternates being arranged for that one so that it is going to give as a backup right uh, by one component then it is to be replaced by some other component so that the person feels that the system is not been broken down the second one is uh, we have to make sure that uh, if a f failure of single component it should not affect the overall data availability and also we need to have a careful analysis so that we need to check that is there any single point of failure because of which the operation will be uh, affecting for the client 
for example is that now as you people know that uh, all the um, what do you say the shopping uh, is going on which is called as a big sale diwali sale festive sale and all now every one is been behind ordering the co components or they are ordering the stuff that is been needed now there is a huge data uh, been processing every day you can check there is a time limit during which you need to order you will be getting at a very less price this all is a uh, in data at that particular period of the time if in case the server goes down you have put an order it is not been processed then what happens that is the single point of failure from your side but still yet at the server side whatever you have been processed the data it is been existing in the server so that once you again log in you are getting all the details available for you people right so this is how the failure uh, this is how they are trying to resolve the failures so here if you check in this diagram we have a client we are having the redundant network that means i am having the multiple networks i am having this network interface card where there where we are having the multiple um, or i can say the redundant um, network interface cards now uh, having these redundant uh, what do you say the ports it can be there or the path you can say that uh, whenever the system will fail uh, then what happens these redundant components will come into the picture and they are going to play the role so that the data is always made available for the users now you can check even in this hypervisor also we have been having two hypervisors then we are having the two switches we have two storage arrays so this is how they are trying to overcome the single point failures okay moving on to the next one Uh, we are coming across the multipath software in which where we are trying to check out what are the multiple paths now as we are having the redundant paths also but there might be when i have a redundant path that means the multiple paths there might be the uh, what you say uh, the problem uh, especially in terms of a traffic when i say a traffic that means the data that is been uh, exchanging between the client and the server is been more because of which the network will be loaded and you feel that the it is taking a lot of time to process now i have to make sure that when these multiple paths are going to increase then the data availability through that path might also fail that is another chance then uh, if i am having this or if you try to implement this multipath softwareing so what it is going to do is it is going to recognize and also it is going to use uh, the alternate path so by using this one what is going to happen is the first one it is going to provide the load balancing yeah so that uh, the input and output operations and the paths will be distributed it is going to increase uh, the performance obviously when the load is being shared the traffic is being minimized then the more number of the operations have been performed and this multipath softwareing is going to help to manage the paths to the devices in a very optimal way and also based on this one it is able to balance the load and whenever there is a failure it is able to identify now when i say that it is going to manage the optimal paths for example is that if in case i am trying to have the different number of the nodes for example if in case i am having node 1 and this is the second node third node fourth and the fifth node now when i am trying to transfer the information if in case this particular path is going to fail then what the computer or what the uh, uh, the devices have to do is that it has to identify what is the alternate path for me so that i can send the information without having any loss of the information so and also it has to check that how fast i can send the information so that this is going to reduce the load on the network moving on to the next one is business impact analysis so what is this business impact analysis it is uh, the terminology okay where we are going to identify which business units 
operations and processes are essential for the survival of the business right if in case uh, there is any incident been taking place and because of which the business functions are going to have an impact on that one so how should we deal with this one so what are the uh, set of the task we need to look into so that we are going to continue the business first one is you have to determine the business areas identify what uh, operations are critical right you need to identify what are the key business processes you have to determine um, the attributes uh, such as it is in terms of applications or the database or the hardware or the software and you have to estimate the cost of the failure for each business process and you have to calculate the maximum tolerable outrage in terms of the recovery time objective and you have to uh, determine even what are those recovery strategies and you need to optimize and uh, uh, you have to optimize the backup and the business recoveries and also you have to make sure that what is the current state of the business uh, continuity and make sure that how are we going to optimize this one okay now this all business uh, impact analysis we are making sure that one so that uh, w w the problems like uh, financial problems or it can be operational problems or it can be in terms of the services this is not being broken down right especially this business uh, impact where it is going to happen is especially in terms of money and in terms of the time if the if the business or the items whenever you are doing any business uh, it is not been available for the people at the given particular period of time then the people are not interested to continue anymore with the services provided by you and also in terms of the money now you can check uh, everywhere there is a festive offer with 80 percent 50 percent even sometimes even 100 percent is also going on right so why is this all so that they want to check what is it going to have the impact on the business right they want to keep the business they want to engage the people in the business if in case you don't provide any of the offers then the people won't come but we have to make sure that the business is not going to stop and any business person is not interested to go into the loss by providing the offers still he makes sure that the business continues he is always a rich right so these are some of the strategies being applied by the business people the next one what are these solutions right uh, especially in terms of the uh, business continuity what are the technology solutions they are going to apply the first one is they are going to apply uh, related to the backup and the recovery then the second one is a local uh, replication and the third one is the remote replication the business continuity as i have previously discussed that we need to continue the business in term whenever there is uh, the data is not been available even we have to provide the solutions to the people and still keep them intact with the products that we are giving them now when i say the products is obviously it is the data what they are giving us and what we are providing them now when i say in this one what is the strategy now in case you are uh, for example you people are using mobile and all of suddenly your mobile goes in the water and you make sure that the data within that mobile is important you want to recover still the person should trust the mobile that yes i am able to recover the data so what is the technology is going to apply for that one the first one is the backup and the recovery where the data is being backed into the tape right where they are going to determine that what is the response uh, time what is the recovery time so that they are going to get back the data and uh, the second one they are going to apply is a local replication where the data is being replicated at the different locations and they can be used for the operations for business operations and they are being used for restoring the data oper whatever the operations you have been performing and in the remote location what happens is the data in that storage array will be replicated and it will be stored at the remote site so that multiple site you are going to store and if there is any disasters also been taking place the business is going to continue from where the remote site 
now all these uh, solutions what they have been applying is the very simple uh, as i said in case uh, the the mobile goes into the water and you want to get back the data now you might have seen that every time your data is being synchronized with the cloud right now when i say it as a cloud where this data is being stored right that is the backup what you have been having so now where is the cloud uh, you might be asking that madam where is that cloud how, how can i touch it uh, do i know where that location is been there no we are not knowing that one right though companies are been having these backup solutions where they'll be maintaining this data at the multiple sites they are been having uh, a, a lot of uh, what you say the technologies they have been coming up so that even uh, 10 years back data whatever you have been stored the pictures what you've been had what were the chat messages you have been having what were the emails been there that all they have been storing and they are making sure that any sort of a disaster takes place you will be able to recover that 10 years 20 years of a data now what i'm been saying this data is very simple only for a particular user now please can you understand that the data for a certain hospital right from the time when it has been established for example if you take aims hospital if you take uh, the hospital that is there in uh, bangalore uh, which is at uh, um, ms ramaya hospital is been there uh, then we have been having nimans hospital there are the multiple patients been coming their data all has to be being maintained right it is in the paperwork but the paper data is been lost now they are storing it that data in terms of this uh, what do you say the scanned documents these uh, scanned documents all need to be stored how is the been progress of that patient and this is how they are going to study and the term comes as the big data right data science so this is how the technology is evolving and the backup or i can say the uh, the storage is been increasing and day by day the solutions for this one is a uh, tremendous right uh, so that uh, this is uh, how they are making the systems very intelligent okay so this was all about the backup uh, recovery and introduction to your business continuity okay hope the doubts have been clear for you people thank you